Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's good. It's been a while. I was quite busy with my job and also was working on some new music. So I took a break from YouTube, uh, but now I'm back. And I want to thanks to say thank you to everybody who joined my remix contest for 11 records. There was a lot of people, more than I would ever expected. In these days, Lauren and Sian are going through all the remixes, so I think it's a matter of days before they announce the winner. So good luck everybody and thanks again for joining. In this video we're going to talk about plugins and devices that help my creativity, uh, both when I'm starting a track, so plugins that triggers my ideas and when I also need to uh, make chords, make melodies and things like that and pads, textures, you know, all the things that we that we like. This topic will be divided in more than one video, so this will be the part one, because as I go on with my productions, I always um, find out new devices, new interesting plugins that I want to share, and so there will be more in the future. There's always a part in the video where I have to ask you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I keep interest Instagram more, you know, real time updated because that's where I share my, my stories about my projects that I'm working on. So that's another place you can stay in touch with me. Also, if you want to send me a message, say hi, uh, I'm there. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I share the screen now so I start to feel more comfortable. I have something to look at when I speak rather than watching inside the lens of the camera, which is always weird to me. So the first device that I want to share with you, it's Beat Shaker by Alex Kidd, which is his latest uh, device for Max for Live. Max for Live works only on Ableton. Sorry about that for those who don't use Ableton. It's a sort of drum machine. You load the beat shaker on your MIDI track, but there's no sample on it. So if you start play, you see if you if you play something, it doesn't make any sound because you need to add a drum rack. There are two kits provided with the beat shaker. One it's with eight or eight samples. Another one is with 909 samples. Of course, all these samples that you see here can be changed. So you're not, you're not forced to use these samples, okay? The sounds that you see here, they, they don't play actually because there's a particular routing on, on this uh, drum bus, on this drum rack. This is just an indication of what you have on the different notes when you create a MIDI clip. We'll see better later. So basically you have two types of kick, two types of snares, two types of hi-hats and two types of percussions. And they are all um, here. All the samples that this machine plays are here. With the pack, you also get different MIDI clips that you can load to try out things. So let's try the first one. And uh, this plugin is a random has different buttons which randomize the sample that is played. So if you press the shake button, it changes the samples that are played. If you go inside the MIDI clip, you can change it. You can add stuff, you can take out stuff. These are just ideas that uh, Alex uh, put inside the pack, but of course you can create your own MIDI clip. You have two controls, control on dynamics. So it's how much the velocity is uh, affecting the volume and the velocity, which is basically the volume of the sound. And then you can manually, if you want change, uh, uh, the sample that is playing. So you move. And that's basically uh, 
what this does. This is something to give you uh, ideas. It doesn't have to make your truck. I mean, it's always difficult to use a plugin, a randomized plugin to make a truck. The function of a randomized plugin is to, to give you an idea. So maybe uh, there's a combination of things that say, oh, that's, that's part, that part was really cool. Now I keep only that part and I get rid of all the other uh, parts that I don't like. So I really like this uh, dry kick, for example. So I would keep that uh, to make a truck. You can also use the 909 drum kit. You can also find here all the single samples that are in the packs. I like this. Maybe I would change the kick. That's better. So that, that could be a, an alternative to throw in loops. This plugin provides the samples and the, the combinations of samples, but then to create a nice groove, you have to do your work on the piano roll. And, and, and that's really important. Now I want to show you what I came up with, uh, trying out stuff with this device and trying to change the samples that are inside the drum rack. So here I have three trucks. The one, the first is with the 808, the second is with the 909, and then I have just added, just added a bass. Let's first hear the, the 808. All the samples are from the drum rack that Alex made. In the 909 kit, I changed the samples with some of my, from my library, so. What happened is this. So this is a really nice groove that I find out just pressing the shake button until it picked some of the samples that I that I threw in beat shaker in the drum rack. Then I added the bass line. And then with the first drum kit, We just kind of make a truck. And that's all thanks to this uh, Alex Kid device. Trying out stuff is always helpful to, to find new, new ideas for your truck. So another device from Alex Kid I want to show you is the probabilistic sequencer. It's a sequencer that I, re that I use quite a lot for starting my bass sequences. But uh, in this case, I want to show you how you can use it uh, to generate a sort of arpeggio or melody. And then you could record it and cut the parts that you like and use it in a random way, changing parameters while you record it. On the probabilistic sequencer, it's really simple. It just has the gate line and then two pitch lines. And then you have the probability of having the pitch A or pitch B for each step. Each step. You can choose the scale and you just let it go. So in this case, I also use the pitch uh, uh, media effect to higher the octave. And then I have the ma matrix with this preset, Striano. Something like this. And what you can do is randomize the steps as you go, as you record the, uh, or as you play the sequence. And also the notes.
that sounds really nice. The preset of the Matrix is also really good, but a uh, super nice sequencer. Again, I want to thank Alex for sending me all his uh, devices. I really appreciate that. And I, uh, I'm really happy to give you a shout out. These are incredible devices. So guys, if you want to try them out, you find the link in the description. Before moving to the next video, I want to introduce Truxify, which is sponsoring this video. Truxify is a service that enables artists and labels to easily manage their online content and instantly create landing pages. There are two things that I really like about Truxify. The first one is that it's made by musicians for musicians. In fact, the two guys that are working on Truxify are two passionate producers who have been following my channel for a while and that's how we got in touch. So they are fine tuning their service for musicians, for us, for our needs. The second thing is that it's completely free. So you don't have to pay any monthly plan or any fee. Uh, you can buy them a coffee if you want. There's a donation button on the website, but it's definitely uh, a free um, service. I've been using Truxify for a couple months right now and what I did so far is to create a bio link, so a link that goes in your Instagram bio, it's a personalized link and lends you to a page where you share all the links that you want to share. So for example, I have my new EP on Bandcamp, my latest video and so on. There are, there are more things you can do, for example, you can do also a track here, so a link to a track and all the streaming services of the track. So if you want to pin an audio track on my bio link, I just go here and create an audio track. For example, I want to pin my body scan track. So I create my personalized URL. I go on about, I type body scan and my name and I look up if they found, if it found automatically the information. So here we go. The artwork, let's see, found the right one. Yes. And the AP name now on services, I can automatically add all the streaming services links. So here you go, Spotify, SoundCloud and so on. And that's it. So finish. So now I go to my bio link and I update and I'll pin the track here on the content. I can pin body scan the track, finish. And now if I go on my landing page, I also have the track here. If I press here, I'll find the links to the streaming services. So that's pretty cool. If I go to overview, there are all the link, all the integrations. So Facebook to use your Facebook feed on your artist page, Spotify and tracking. On tracking, you can uh, track your the activity with Facebook Pixel. This is for people who are interested in statistics. You can also create an artist profile where you can put your audio tracks links, your bio, links to all your social media and also your Facebook feed if you connected your Facebook page. So guys, definitely check Traxify out. They are constantly working to improve it, constantly adding new features. So I think they need your support. And of course, thanks Traxify for sponsoring this video. So another plugin that I want to share with you, that I want to show you is Scalar 2. I've been talking already about Scalar 1 by, by Plugin Boutique, but Scalar 2 just came out. So I, I want to show you how I use Scalar 2 to help my creativity. And it happens, of course, when I need to pick chords, to choose chords. For example, I was making a track in D minor and I wanted to, um, to have, I'll show you what I did basically. So I, I need to have some uh, chords. But as you can hear, I, I wanted to change um, a little bit the chords from one point to the other. So what I did is to look for variations on the D minor chord. chord. So I, I picked the scale, so D minor. By the way, on Scalar 2, you have a lot of different sounds you can choose from inside Scalar. Of course, you can brute Scalar to external sounds, but 
just to check chords, you can use the internal sounds, for example, the square. And so I went here and I checked different, different type of D minor chord. And I found the D minor 9th, which is really cool, the D minor 7th, 11th. They are all a little bit different one from the other. As you can hear. And so you can create these progressions where the root chord is always a D minor, but you actually are changing something to make it sound a little bit different. And that's what I did here. Same thing I did on this part. So I know this is a really simple one, but it can help you when you when you can when it's time to pick your chords. Okay, so the last the last that I want to show you for today from this stock Ableton sounds, it's actually included in the sweet version, I guess. So it's on the uh, extra content probability pack by Sonic Faction. This is crazy. You, you don't know what happened when you use this, but it sounds pretty nice. And I used that to record some part of, um, of a texture and I used them for my background texture. So I'll show you. It's called Sequential Bells. So it's inside mallets. So it, 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 do, it does everything alone. I don't do anything, but you can change here the parameters to uh, move the notes and create different things. So I recorded to audio these uh, things that I, want, that I was doing and then I looped one part. And then I have something else here. Yeah, so this was my last for today. Ableton is such a powerful software. I don't even know how powerful is Ableton. You know, the stock or extra content from Ableton uh, contains some pearl. Don't pass through uh, Ableton stock stuff because you can miss something if you don't take a look. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope this video gave you some ideas. As always, uh, that's, my, that's my goal. And yeah, like the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know what you think of the things that I showed you here. Have a nice week or weekend. Depends on where you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Ciao, ciao.